Hey, what's going on guys? It's CDED here, and this is my Batman vs Superman trailer review with my main man, Darren Seymour. Hey guys, what's up? I haven't, I haven't seen this guy in probably about five years, and... Again. I, yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, again. Oh yeah, just to um, mention, um, I also know Ash. Um, the magician. Who I basically I did yeah. a video, the video I did yesterday with my mate Ash. Uh, I've been seeing friends like from the olden times, literally left, right, and center. The I good old Ash, times. Yeah, good old times. I saw Ash yesterday, and now I'm seeing Darren today, and we just thought, well, we make a video and something we both do. And this guy's heavily into his film and media studies, so we thought we'd do a trailer review, kind of our thoughts of what we think of the upcoming Batman vs Superman trailer. So this is where it's going to be. But first thing we're going to talk about is uh, I want to talk about Ben Affleck as Batman because. I feel like he's going to be a really, really, he's a really good actor, but I think he'll be a great Bruce Wayne, could be an iffy, an iffy Batman. An iffy Batman. An iffy Batman, because he's just, the films kind of he's done in the past have been a little bit, I mean, he did Argo, which is obviously incredible, but then he, he usually does like an incredible film, and yeah. then a rubbish film, so it could let it down, but then again, it could. Yeah, it, it could, could be a 50-50. Yeah, it could surprise us. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm with them, with them, Batman vs Superman, there is sort of two main two main um, actors, so you know, maybe his own performance might not be too bad or could be mm -hmm. over, like, overshadowed almost. I, I suppose maybe because he's, he's not in his own as well, um, he could play off well with others, which would make a real big difference and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. He's like, someone like Daredevil, which I know got a very bad critique, <laughs> which I actually like. I really, really quite liked Daredevil, but I suppose maybe him in his own, he's not very good, but when he's surrounded by good yeah. actors like Jesse Eisenberg, and Jeremy Irons, I think it could be, could be really Yeah, good. yeah, it could uh, definitely. Yeah, because um, a lot of people sort of didn't like the voice in um, the Batman with, was it Batman? Um, Christian Bale, like Christian Bale with um, Tom Hardy's Bane. With uh, Tom Hardy's Bane, yeah, a lot of people seem to be complaining a lot yeah. about the voice. So it'll be interesting to see whether they try and make the voice grittier and darker, because, um, because the whole of um, DC is sort of leaning towards that darker mm. side, if you will. Um, but it's, it, they're dark comics as well, aren't they? Yeah. And so I suppose. Well, well yeah, I and mean, then they are, but at the same time, it's like they are getting darker and darker. Mm. Plus, with the new Man of Steel as well. Mm. I think it works, obviously, because like Christian Bale, I think I thought he did a really good job because it changes his voice. Yeah. Like it makes sure that he's different, his persona. So you know, because if he did his normal voice as Batman, people would be able to recognise him, wouldn't they? So yeah. It does yeah. make sense. Yeah. I mean, so I feel does. like he should do a different kind of voice or something. But I mean, I can understand people's annoyance and frustration when he does think. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, it's okay like to that. do like. I mean, it's okay to do a, like a different voice, but a lot of people are complaining that you know it wasn't clear sometimes or it was just too over the top. I, th I think I think I think he only went over the top. I think probably I think it was he was okay in Batman Begins, yeah. a little bit bad in Dark Knight, and then kind of average yeah. in, in Batman in Batman uh, Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. So he kind of went off and on, turning, depending on the scene as well, depending on the acting style. So I think sometimes it worked, and then sometimes I can understand people get people's frustration. Yeah, but um, with Ben Affleck being the new Batman, I think I think it's one of those things where. There's going to be a lot of mixed opinions. It's just, we're just going to have to just wait and see. Well, he's a, he's a very he's well spoken actor because he's done a lot of stage work and he's done a lot of like Shakespeare and stuff like that. So he's well spoken. So I think that will really come out. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Also, yeah, the one thing I really want to talk about, especially, is uh, which a lot of people are getting at, which is Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, because obviously Jesse Eisenberg's with, 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 with hair, with hair, with hair, because obviously originally in the comics Lex Luthor is completely bald and stuff like that. Now, obviously, there has been a photo of Jesse Eisenberg uh, of him bald and showing it, and yeah. again, but the thing is, it's that whole point of obviously Jesse Eisenberg's kind of he has this distinguished voice, like um, you know, now you see me in Zombieland, he has that kind of. You know, there, you know, you can't be able to warm up. He's got that kind of squeaky voice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, And so, like with Lex Luthor, he always was in the comics and the uh, animated series, a bit more of a grittiness to it. So I don't know, but it looks like maybe Lex Luthor is just forming. Maybe you know, Lex Luthor will kind of change his appearance in some form way to really become Lex Luthor. Yeah. So you know, but I love Jesse Eisenberg. I think he's a really, really good actor. Uh, I actually loved him pretty much in all his films he's ever made. Actually. I think he's really, really good. Um, and so I think it'll be really, really interesting. I trust his judgment a bit like Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. Like, you know, people are questioning him, but I trust his yeah. his ability to act and tact it well. So I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm I mean, like, um, you know, I'm not questioning his his ability to act, but, you know, with him actually having hair and playing the role of Lex Luthor, you know, I mean, is it, is it, you know, it's sort of like, will the shoe fit almost? Mm, yeah, it's just a bit like that. Yeah. 
uh, we, we thought we could talk about uh, Wonder Woman because obviously she oh, appears, yeah, she, she, appears, appears. she only appears small and she didn't appear in the first trailer because she only appeared in the Comic Con trailer which is what we're talking about yeah. oh yeah um, just know the Comic Con trailer yeah definitely. yeah um, and she only appears small but we, we thought like could it's possible that it could go into what the Amazing spider man did which was um, so many characters and so many backstories that it just kind of goes a bit crazy and goes yeah. a bit nuts and can't really yeah. you know, do an ensemble cast. But then again, Guardians of the Galaxy did prove that you can have a big, large cast and still do it incredibly well. Well, and they, well, and they did it incredibly well because there wasn't too much of a backstory. They didn't really go mm. into detail. It was just sort of like, they mentioned stuff here and there, but... But the ensemble with, cast worked really well together. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly, yeah. exactly. But um, with the whole Wonder Woman thing, and I'm really interested to see how they're bringing her into in, in them to the story, you know. It's I the mean, first time she's been shown in a, a film that's not, I think, probably one of the yeah, um, like, you know, for, for, for a modern contemporary audience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because um, DC are planning on making a Wonder Woman film, but I think Batman vs Superman comes out before then. Yeah. It so it'll definitely be interesting to see how they introduce her character into the story because they can't be like, "Oh, hi guys, I'm yeah. here." It's like we've never seen you before. Yeah, yeah. You they've, know. Got a, they've, they've got the, the, the actress who plays. I'm really looking forward to as well. She's been in a couple more films. I can't remember anything. Like, yeah, which is really, really bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to actually to how they do Wonder Woman. I think it'll be really, really good. And um, but it's again a bit like kind of Ben Affleck's Batman. Could go, could go one way. Could be too much, but it could be. Could serve it as really, really well. And again, yeah. it could be. Talk a bit, a bit about this because there are a lot of characters involved. You know, you got Batman, you got Superman, I mean, and we just watched, watched the trailer. I just found out that Wonder Woman's um, playing a part in it. And then there's Lex Luthor. Now, you've got Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. They're all part of the Justice League. You know, they're all friends, they're allies. You know, they're the good guys. And it's like, who's the bad guy? Because if you, because if you watch the trailer, the whole trailer seems to be. It just seems to be Batman versus Superman with no good guy, no bad guy. There's a bit of everything. Well, yeah, we, we know we know Lex Luthor kind of is a villain kind of of the DC universe, but I think and obviously you do. Yeah, find but it out didn't that, exactly portray him. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Didn't, it didn't portray him as that. We know Lex Luthor obviously does. You know, is meant to manipulate um, Superman in some form of way. Yeah. Doing your toffees there. Dude. I am. I am. He no, likes my toffees. <laughs> but yes, um, but. It's to be interesting because obviously it, we hope it doesn't be something like Iron Man 3, which uh, what they did with the um, bad guy and that is like, you know, it could be something where they change the law of the comics and the whole history of it to maybe change the film adaptation to make it a bit different. So it could be something that could be really, really good for the film, like Iron Man 3 was, but really piss off the fans. Yeah, it could especially be, if you're yeah. a big comic fan. Plus, with the plot, I'm really mostly interested to see how it's going to all end mm. because you can't kill Batman, yeah. you can't kill Superman, Wonder Woman's clearly not going to die, you know, is Lex Luthor's, you know, is something going to happen where Lex Luthor, you know, gets put behind bars or something mm. because he is, you know, in in the comics, he yeah, is, yeah, he is the, the villain. So it's gonna see, or you know, is it gonna end with a huge cliffhanger? Yeah. Well, so, well, I suppose we don't. Yeah. I mean, you know, this could be something that go into a sequel, or is it going to link with the DC universe? Because uh, obviously, we're gonna be having. We know we're gonna be having uh, more Batman films. Um, they're already starting like casting for that, um, and so we don't know if they're gonna link. You know, is it gonna be as big as something like the Marvel universe, which is gonna you know expand this big universe? Um, and obviously we do find out, obviously, because Jeremy Irons, who plays Alfred in the trailer, um, yeah. says, you know, he is not, he refers to Superman being, he is not your enemy. But you do find yeah. out that, obviously, because in the trailer, Superman is retaliating from what everyone's saying. And, you know, because they all want him gone, because he's an alien, he's basically like an immigrant for Earth. And so to be fair, I mean, you know, I could understand kind of where they're coming from, but I mean, Superman is essentially just like, well, after everything I've done for you, you're like, you know, you're, you're crapping on me. And so he's just retaliating yeah. and saying, go away, you know. So in a way, you can't blame Superman. And so it'll be interesting well, to I mean, see. Like, I don't mean, I don't think Superman expects anything, anything from that. You know, he's not asking for favors. You know, he's not that type of guy. He's just, he genuinely cares. And if you are a comic book fan, you, you know how, um, you know, Superman's greatest weakness is also his greatest strength, the fact that he cares for the human race. You know, and it's like, he's not saving people because he wants to be seen as a god, because he wants to be idolized. He's, he saves people because 
um, he cares and he wants to save people but the fact that people are telling him to go away even though he's tr tr trying to help and doesn't really expect anything out of it but then that's what sort of like um, pisses him off a bit. I think that's what will be interesting as well because obviously you find out in like the Dark Knight and the, the Batman series with Christian Bale of the Batman and I think that's what's really what makes the comics so good as well when they go against each other is this whole point of Batman is the, the Dark Knight, he is the vigilante, he's the person that can make the decisions that no one else could, like he does in The Dark Knight, where obviously the Joker says, I will kill people if you don't show your face. And yeah. he doesn't, because that's what, you know, he, he endures it, like Alfred says, you know, you endure it, so, and you will take, take yeah, on like like a, hell. Yeah, know? like if Batman's willing to cross that line, yeah. Superman isn't. If Superman isn't, Superman would do anything to protect him. So I think that's, again, that's what makes this film probably will be very, very interesting, Will. It will question the audience a bit like what we think um, Civil War will do in the Marvel yeah. universe. Yeah. It'll make people think, going, oh, Superman's got a point there, but I mean, you are doing all that, so Batman's doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like a. So, it's gonna be... Um, well, obviously, you see in the trailer, you see what. Uh, well, everyone is pretty much assuming it pretty much is. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, this is all an assumption, by the way. Yeah, um, it's kind of Robin's suit, you know, as he was with Nightwing, because you can see he has the big, uh, the big spear, the stick thing. And obviously, it says, like, uh, the joke's on you. It says, like, yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, ha, ha, yeah ha, the joke's on you. And it's just like, that's clearly, obviously, an avatar Joker. And obviously, in the comics, this comes after. So I'm fairly sure it does. After Joker has been basically, you know, dies, it comes after that. So it's clearly having a psychological impact on Batman. And so that'd be really, really interesting. I think is this kind of psychological thing of maybe what happens when two very, very strong people are pushed their limits. Yeah. You know? He's, you know, because obviously Superman is clearly like, you know, what have I done? You're all pressuring me into doing stuff that I don't want to do. And same with Batman. You know, you know, he, he's been clearly had an impact from that. You know, Alfred as well, I mean, I can't wait, Jeremy Irons is going to be brilliant at it. Yeah, but yeah, he looks really he, good. But the way he's dressed is very uh, dishevelled. He's not very well upright, so maybe, you know, it's affect Alfred, it's affect their entire life of, of Robin being killed by the Joker and stuff like that. So yeah. it'd be really, really interesting, I think, to, to have this film be quite um, in the minds of these characters. Yeah, exactly. Um, plus, I would also... Uh, well, I was going to make a point, but I mean, really, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'd say interesting. Interesting. Interesting, because there are a lot of interesting factors. Like I said, like we've uh, spoken about in this video, there are a lot of interesting points to make, uh, interesting actors that they've picked, interesting stories. It, it, obviously, even just you know the title, Batman vs Superman of the comics, you know, it's very, very interesting. And so, yeah, interesting. But interested to see even, whether, even if it's bad, yeah. I'll be very interested on how it was bad. Yeah. And if on it's good why. and vice versa. Yeah. yeah, and why. I'll still be interested as to why and I'll probably do a video if it is or bad or good, you know. Yeah, so. I think I think a my word is you know what I'm gonna sum it up in this one in this one word because it could go either way and that is scales. 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 Yeah, scales. You know like scales, you know, it could be Oh, scales. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know. Could, yeah, scales or a um, seesaw. <laughs> 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 no, um, it could be very good. Um, of, but saying that, um, I think that there will be some people that will be disappointed with it in one way or another. Yeah, I think in one way or another. Yeah. Mm, yeah so there's uh, there's gonna be a few letdowns in some areas. I think. Yeah. Um, I just hope lack of um, depth and um, plot isn't. That's a big thing. Yeah. Right, awesome. Well, yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, anyway, guys, that has been my trailer for the uh, Batman vs. Superman trailer with uh, my main man, Darren Seymour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's videos, guys. Uh, unfortunately, Darren doesn't have a YouTube uh, nope. account, but I probably this will is, be... This is actually my first time on a YouTube. This is that's my first sweet. time on a YouTube. Sweet. And I'm on it with my best friend, Charles. How awesome is that? <laughs> <laughs> you never forget your first time. So yeah, I will probably definitely be including Darren in more of my videos if I can get him back and if he can stop laughing at every video of everything that I do. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and until next time, I'll see you later.